With a sales to new listings ratio of 73% and only two months of inventory supply, the market is struggling. So consistent with typical seasonal behavior sales, new listings and inventory levels all trended up compared to last month. However, with only 1740 sales and 2389 new listings, inventory levels improved only slightly over the last month and remained amongst the lowest February levels since 2006. And while higher lending rates are impacting sales activity as expected, we are seeing a stronger pullback in new listings, keeping supply levels low and supporting some stronger than expected monthly price gains. This comes from our chief economist, Anne Marie Lurie from CREP. But prices are still below the May 2022 peak and it is still early in the year. However, if we do not see a shift in supply, we could see further upward pressure on prices over the near term. Both sales and new listings declined over last year's record high for the month. While sales activity remained stronger than long-term trends and levels reported throughout 2015 to 2022 period, new listings fell below long-term trends. And with a sales to new listings ratio of 73% and a month supply of under two months, the market has struggled to move into balanced territory, causing fur further upward pressure on home prices. The unadjusted benchmark price increased by nearly 2% over January levels and last year's prices. Let's look at the detached homes. Now, both sales and new listings reported significant year-over-year -year declines over last year's record high. While the seasonal monthly gain did see inventories move up over the last two months, levels are still amongst the lowest seen in February and the months of supply fell below two months. Further tightening conditions did cause the unadjusted benchmark prices to rise over last month's levels, but at a price of $635,900, is still below the peak reported in May of 2022. While supply continues to remain a challenge relative to demand for lower priced homes, we are seeing conditions shift into balanced territory for homes above 700,000. The semi-detached market. Okay, so like the detached sector, despite the seasonal monthly gain, both sales and new listings fell from last year's record high, while inventories are starting to rise over the levels seen in the past few months. They may remain amongst the lowest levels reported for February. The relatively low inventory levels caused the months of supply to fall below two months in February. While it is still higher than last year's ultra low levels, conditions continue to favor the seller. And the unadjusted benchmark price reached 568,000 in February, nearly 2% higher than last month and a 3% gain over last February. So persistently tight market conditions contribute to the monthly unadjusted gain in the benchmark price. However, like detached property prices, they remain below the May 2022 peak. Now, row townhouses and homes. These conditions remained exceptionally tight in February with only one month of supply and a sales to new listings ratio of 87%. While row sales have eased over record levels, they've remained relatively strong for February as demand shifts toward the affordable product in the market. The persistently tight conditions cause further upward pressure on prices. In February, the unadjusted benchmark price reached 370,000 a monthly gain of over 2% and over a year-over-year -year gain of 9%. Unlike the other sectors, prices have reached a new high this month. Let's talk about condominium sales, apartment condominiums. Now, sales for apartment condominiums did not see the same pace of decline as other property types in February, partly due to the level of listings coming onto the market. Persistently strong sales compared to listings have caused February inventory levels to remain relatively low compared to levels seen over the past eight years and the months of supply once again dropped below two months. The tight, mark, the tight market condition contributed to the upward pressure on prices. And in February, the unadjusted apartment benchmark price reached $286,000, nearly 3% higher than last month and over 11% higher than last February. While prices are still higher than levels reported last year, they remain nearly 7% below the peak levels reported back in 2014. Now, as we jump into the bedroom communities, let's, let's look at the regional market facts. So let's look at Airdrie. Inventories continue to improve in February, but with only 178 units available, levels are still well below longer term trends for the month, ensuring that the month's supply remain below two months. The unadjusted benchmark price in February rose over last month, keeping it comparable to levels seen last year at this time. 
However, with a benchmark price of $487,000, prices remain below the peak price of $510,700 reported in April 2022. Like Airdrie, inventory levels have also been on the rise in Cochrane. While February levels are double what was available in the market last year, inventories remain over 40% below long-term trends for the month. Nonetheless, both sales and new listings have eased so far this year, helping the market shift toward more balanced conditions. The February benchmark price did improve both over last month's and last year's levels. However, with an unadjusted price of $493,000, levels are still below the peak of $522,000, reached in June of 2022. All right, let's look south to Okotoks. And while both sales and new listings have slowed compared to last year's conditions, but they've remained tight, exceptionally tight, with a sales to the new listings ratio of 90%. Inventory levels also continue to fall both compared to last month and last year, with levels nearing the February 2006 record low. And as conditions continue to favor the seller, it is not a surprise that we continue to see upward pressure on home prices. In February, the un unadjusted benchmark price reached 555000 which is 3% higher than last month's and last February's levels. However, like some areas, prices remain just shy of the mid peak of 561000 now, if you're looking to buy your dream home or make a move, I can help you simplify the buying and selling process. My name is Danny Green and I'm your local Calgary realtor with MV Real Estate Group, Remax First. And I specialize in helping homeowners and home buyers navigate the real estate market in Calgary, Alberta, so they can move into a better home and improve their quality of life without having to worry about a thing. My email is danny at calgarysagent.com. My phone number is 403-605-6626. You can also DM me on Facebook, just search Danny Green. Or you can DM me on Instagram. My username is at Calgary's Agent. And even if you're not looking to buy or sell a home right now, but you want to learn more about the market, the process and other mistakes to avoid and best practices to do, subscribe to my YouTube channel because I create lots of educational content and click on the bell icon so you get notified when a new video comes out. Or again, just reach out. I love helping people. I love real estate. And thank you for watching your February 2023 Calgary Real Estate Market Update.